11 in the Amplified. The Lord of hosts regard him as holy and honor his holy name. And let him be your fear and let him be your dread. Yes, you have fit him. Do you understand that? When we fear, oh, I love you, Christina. Thank you for being here. My precious niece is here. I love her so much. When you walk in fear, you offend the Lord. For he is holy. He is holy. You know, we came into my room a few days ago. I woke up and I was going to have my devotion and I was going to pray, you know, my routine. And then Jesus was in my room. No, I didn't see him, but I felt him. He was so strong. And I thought, Jesus is here. Lord, you're here. And, and I got to do my devotion, and I got to pray, and, and you know, I'm praying, and yeah, I'm praying, and Jesus is here. And I got to pray, and I got to do my devotion, got to get ready for the day. And Jesus says, but I'm here, but I'm here. And I'm here because I want to talk to you about something. You know when they put those nails in the hands? You know when they pulled my beard out? And they put his spear in my side. I said, yeah, Lord. He said, I did it all for you. I did it for your rejection. I did it for your fear. Fear of being alone. I had such fear of being alone all my life. Fear of being alone. My mom says I was born with fear. I was afraid of everything. And the Lord said, I took that for you. He says, you know what I want most of anything in life? You know what I want most, Jennifer? Most of anything. Beyond a pastor, beyond an evangelist, praying in tongues for four hours. I want fellowship. I want you. I want my people to worship me. I want my people to honor me. That's what I want. Love the Lord thy God with all your heart, with all your mind, with all your soul. Love me. That's what I want. Above anything in this world, love the Lord thy God with all your heart, with all your mind, and with all your soul. See me as holy. See what I did on the cross. Did it do anything? Because that rejection that you walked through, it's like I haven't done anything for you. That rejection you're holding on to, that brokenness, that broken heart, not trusting people. I didn't trust anybody. Really, didn't trust anybody. I didn't feel taken care of much by my parents. My mom, she was a good discipliner, and she was good at keeping her ducks in a row, but the nurturing part, the love, that relationship, that's how we treat God. We see him up there. We don't see him here. We see him as the man upstairs, as people say. We don't see him here as our friend. And the Lord said, I want all that rejection, all those walls that you build around yourself to protect yourself. I want that. And you know, when I, the Lord said, when I saw Mary Magdalene, I didn't say, look what you did. I said, sin no more. And he said, we carry too much condemnation. We carry too much guilt. We carry too much self-hate. And the Lord said, you have hated yourself long enough. When is the time 
then you're going to stop and receive what I did on the cross and receive what I did at the grave. It was not done in vain. Your self-hate when I am love. I love you with all that you are. I love you. And I'm not there pointing the finger. I'm not there trying to find all the faults you did. I'm not there on your shoulder saying, look what you did, failure. I'm here saying, I love you. And all I want is worship. That's all I want. Worship me. Honor me. Make me your God. Make me your king. Don't look at what you've done because I see what you can become. I see who you can be. I see a successful woman. I see a mighty lion of Judah. I see a roar in you. You know what, many women, there's a roar in you, but it's been really low inside you. But there's a lion of Judah inside every one of you. But you've kept the roar down here. God's called the Lion of Judah to rise up within you. Take your place. Take your stand against the enemy who has tried to destroy you, tried to make, uh, tell you lies that you believe. Lies that you believe. The enemy has tried to come in and he's tried to, he's taken his sword and tried to just cut you down to nothing. And the Lord says, I have come, and I have come to give you life, and I have come to give you life abundantly. If you will stop looking at what you aren't, and if you would stop looking at all your faults, and if you would stop looking at all that you have not been, and start looking about who I am in you, and what I think about you, and what I see in you. And when you look in that mirror, what do you see? All the faults? Or do you see me looking back at you? Because I live in you. So when you look at that mirror, do you see my hands that were scarred? It wasn't done in vain. It was done for you. It was done for that rejection. It was done for that trust that you don't trust. It was done for that. And the Lord said, I am here. And all I could do in my, my bedroom was fall on my knees. His presence was so strong around me that all I could do is honor him and fall down on my knees and repent of how I saw myself. And the Lord says, first of all, forgive yourself. That's the hardest thing for me. Forgiving myself. Very hard. And the Lord says, forgive yourself. Start living for me. And even when you mess it up, just get back up. Because you know what? I am your cheerleader and I'm cheering you 